Good night, mate. How's it going? It's your mate Benny Mac back in the Scale Model Garage, fellas. Uh, thanks for joining me again, guys. Hope you're all doing well. Hope the weekend was good for you. Had a pretty good one. Uh, managed to get a few hours today, guys, in the Scale Model Garage. The um, old bare metal foil. Yes, bare metal foil. I think that's the um, the one thing most of us guys in the car building trade whatever you want to call it um yeah it's just one of those things doesn't matter how much you do it it does get easier i suppose the longer you do it but you just dread it every time and um today's update guys quick uh progress update on the 67 plymouth gtx hemi uh it's been a long fair long while in the works this one guys um all i really needed for the last three four months was bare metal foil and I just couldn't get in the mood to do it, and it just every time I thought about it, no, nah, I'll just leave it in the drawer. So, <laughs> anyway, guys, I spent about two and a half, three hours today just doing the bare metal foil. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how it came out in the end. So, I'm just going to do a progress update, and a, or probably a final update on the GTX Hemi um, before it's finished. So. Next time you see it, my friends, it will be the final video for it. So I'm going to set up on the bench and we'll have a look what's going on, eh? Alright, fellas, here we are on the bench with the 67 Plymouth GTX Hemi. Uh, one in 25th scale from Ravel. And uh, it actually sparked my memory today. I watched a video from Styrene Junkie. How you doing, Ron? Hope you're going well, mate. He um he's doing a brother build with a fellow YouTuber. I can't remember the name now. Sorry, man. But uh, no, it sparked my memory, mate. This is actually a brother build that I started way, way frick, be a year ago, I reckon now, fellas. With um old QA Dano, as he used to be known, and he's now known as Dan Anderson. There's another shout out for this video, Dan Anderson. Go and check him out, fellas. I'm going to be pushing him to do some more videos. He's been putting a lot of good work up on Facebook lately, but yeah. Where's the videos, man? Do some YouTube and buddy. We want to see some of that good work you're doing from up in Alaska. So I look forward to some videos from you, Dan. But this kit was actually a random act of kindness from Mr. Anderson. So, and he had one exactly the same, and he came up with the idea to you know do you want to build this the same time as me benny and we'll see what we can both come up with and i thought oh yeah that was a pretty cool idea so i said yes and now it's many months later and we've been so busy and i think he's actually finished his so i've got to get hold of him for some photos because he wanted me to do a slideshow of both the builds together so i'll hit him up for some of them after I'll hopefully you watch this video man and if you do, email me some photos of your final build, mate. I'll do a slideshow for us when I finish this one. Hopefully tomorrow or next week. But main thing I wanted to show you today, guys, is the bare metal foil. I got it all done. Oh my god, that stuff. I'm not too bad on the front and back windows, but when it comes to doing all these little windows, and oh, it does my head in. I did the strip on the bottom. Um, if you look on the box art, it actually has it around the tire rim arches as well. But honestly, I don't think I like that look, so... I'm just going to leave it as is, like that. I did my final clear coat over the top today, guys, so that... I'm just going to let that cure overnight and come out, give it a light wet sand, do my polish and my wax, so... Uh, it's got a pretty good shine on it already, but... I'll get it shinier, I'm hoping... And the only other detail work I did today was on the dash, not on the dash, the firewall. <laughs> Just did some wires, picked out some of the little clamps there and whatnot. And the battery, and all I have remaining are these parts, guys. The dreaded glass, uh, the windscreen wipers, front and back bumpers, obviously, and the fuel tank cap. And the clear headlights and all that stuff. So, you guys have probably seen the interior from a previous video. The dash, I still need to do a little bit of detail work on. 
But I've still got the day off tomorrow, guys, and some spare time. So hopefully I will have it done tomorrow. And you've seen this before. This was my first wiring job with the beading wire, which I really don't like anymore. <laughs> I really like the Detail Master stuff, but I'm not going to redo this one, guys. I'll keep this as a um, bit of a memory from when I first started wiring my engines. So that's about it, fellas. Not going to keep you much longer. Just thought I'd show you the um, progress before it gets all put together and you're not going to be able to see as much as the detail as you can now. So, Alright, fellas. As always, it's your mate Benny Mac saying you have yourself a good day or night, wherever you're from. We'll catch you later, mate.